inside the submarine, it sounded like someone had struck the hull with a sledgehammer. At 12.31 p.m., the first P-8 Poseidon arrived overhead. This $290 million submarine hunter immediately began dropping sonoboys in what's called a barrier pattern. 48 buoys in precise formation, each one an underwater microphone that would begin screaming at the Russian submarines. The first active sonar ping hit the Kazan at 12.34 p.m. Inside the submarine, it sounded like someone had struck the hull with a sledgehammer. The sonar operators ripped off their headphones as their displays lit up with the acoustic energy. The acoustic assault escalated quickly. Every 30 seconds, another ping, each one at 235 decibels, louder than a rocket launch reverberating through the submarine's steel hull. The Russians couldn't escape it. They couldn't hide from it. They could only endure it as their position was broadcast to every NATO asset in the Atlantic. Novosibirsk tried to dive deep, descending to 600 meters to hide beneath a thermal layer. But the Ford's escort destroyers activated their AN-SQS-53C hull-mounted sonars, systems so powerful they could penetrate any depth, any thermal barrier. The submarine's captain later reported it felt like being inside a bell while someone hit it with a hammer every few seconds. 